Seriously, Jimmy, quit picking your nose in class. Ain't right. Really, teacher? Get out of the hallway now. Do I have to? Just, nah, I ain't got to deal with this today. You know how, you know I'm pissed off today, man. My wife's in, you know, that one drug dealer thing, for rehab. Anyway, let's get on this freaking thing. Yay! Um, my name is Mr. The Hat White, sorry. <laughs> That's my drug dealer name, Mom. Mr. Hashtag Quick Scope. Oh, screw it. I'm done. Uh, let's see. Forget my name. Sound important. Today we'll be learning about the uh, one of the most boring books that I've ever freaking read. It's called Hundred Years of Solitude. Well, like a hundred years of boredom, but whatever suits you. Our story starts off just one. I'm talking about the setting. So the setting going on right now is four years. Two, no, yeah. Sorry, right. I think about the days. Eleven months. Screw it. I'm gonna spell. Not a freaking English teacher. <laughs> um, and two days. Really, teacher? You can't even spell months? Hey, I've been in prison for six months. I'll kick your scratch all away. We're live. Um, anyway, so, uh, I'll see you at the class. <clears throat> anyway, um, so, pretty much what's going on is it's important to say here that we're in a depression right now. The depression we're in is everyone's going out in the fields and picking stuff. Speaking of the fields, one important person, sorry my handwriting, it's complete trash, but, you know, kind of like, I'm not going to make a joke here, but, you know, like that. In the back. <laughs> anyway, so. Really? Yeah, yeah, probably fight me. Um, so let's see. So, the main character is rolling the setting right now. It is a person named Arleano. I'm not good at Mexican names, don't judge me. <laughs> or Spanish names, if you get offended. Which I don't care either way, but. Segundo. That's a heel. God, you wonder if I failed college. Be honest, we got a real teaching license. <laughs> Which you knew with me. Um, let's go. Oh, yeah, I know. Hey, all you have to do, though, goes out for four years, 11 months, and two freaking days. Just going out and picking bananas, working hard. And so, you know, he's outside doing all his bananas and getting all his stuff out, in and out and everything. And, you know, he gets tired. And his clothes are all damp. He just wants to go and relax a little bit. So he goes to this one girl named Patrick Cotez's house. Now, Patrick Cotez is um, basically a friend of his. I'm not sure if that's a possibility I was putting it because it's fancy. Sorry, that's not you supposed to be. Anyway, um, <clears throat> anyway, um, so pretty much what's going on, Pedro Code does. So he goes to his house, you know, I mean, basically, you know, it's relaxed, just takes his clothes off, just lounge around the house in his boxers. He fixes dings, dongs, nicks, knacks, fricks and fracks, whatever you want to say. I don't know your young as things, but you know. So, you know, so basically, he gets bored. He basically lounge around the house and fix everything around it, like door knockers and like, nuts and bolts here and there. No, no, you know, no provision in the background. <laughs> Something to think about. Um, who the hell is at that freaking door? I might just run it. So, you know, they had, they had a key, and they would be important. You know, just a little quote I learned here, but um, let's see. Now, Pedro Cotez is close, not really close friend, but everyone in the village knows each other. And, it's, and they have no knowledge of each other, so, you know, like family wise. So, um, let's see. And my, my thing that is not mentioned in the book, well, a personal thing of mine, so, you know, if you get mad, don't freaking sue me, um, would be that since basically four years, 12 months, or two days, and what the significance of the reason why it's so specific is that since the um, revolution, civil war, or the massacre, so, banana, I don't know how to spell it, it's pretty simple, but, Man, no, you know, but, man, no. But anyway, um, massacre. Don't even ask me how to spell it, I'm just gonna spell it the best I can. Um, anyway, so, pretty much is that ever since the night massacre, it started pouring down rain. And it's been the night of the massacre. So, you know, it's important there. My opinion is, the world ain't happy how it is. And they think, you know, that if they're, it's really storming out, it's pouring out rain. This one end. It's because of Great Depression and insomnia. So, insomnia. I don't know how to spell it, so don't, don't freaking sue me again. I, I don't got a teaching license, to be honest. I just kind of saw a door open and walked in. 
<clears throat> anyway, so insomnia affects page, um, all your OCD you know, and kind of page code does. And what you don't know, insomnia means you can't sleep, so can't, my bad, that's kind of whatever it was, but can't sleep. So, before I go on, there are any questions? Good, because I didn't care. Um, anyway, so, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I want to ask one question. What if he, he, like you were saying, the four years, 11 months, two days, was he also imprisoned by the rain? <laughs> Good question. Not that I care about it, but I'm the answer it anyway. Because, you know, I'm paid to, even though I don't really work here. Um, so, he, was he imprisoned? My opinion, no. But the book kind of states that he felt bad. But he really went out and did all this work. Now, between you and me, I do not like the rain. I'm choking. I love that stuff. I live out in it. Um, you know, cardboard box, Interstate Highway 3. You know, hit me up on that SoundCloud. Shout out to DP3, by the way. You know who you are. Um, anyway, I love your new album, Redneck Trash Trailer Park. Uh, okay. So, pretty much, he's, pretty much he's out in the rain, and he's pretty much forced to work out. So, forced to work and he's also as work kid don't know why i got that from um forced to work and pretty much he's in that state where he pretty much is the hardest working person here so hardest worker here and the town that they live this bookcase place in Macondo. That's Macado, but who the hell cares? Um, anyway, so pretty much, and then that wraps up Devil's characters. There's one other character I could call, um, talk about now. Her name is Ursula. I, um, students, do you remember the name of the last name of this person? Because I do not know. Brendia. Brendia, thank you. See, I'm kind of buzzed right now as a teacher. So you know how my wife's a you know a crack addict? I'm kind of a drunk. Must have been on that new special drink out there, t-shirt. Hey, I spiked the coffee this morning. Don't judge. Anyway, um, so wait, it was B and D, right? Or B and D, or B and D, or I want to write down what I feel like. B U E and D. I am being me, but okay. I like the idea, but B and D. B U E and IDA. It's kind of scribbles, but it works too. Um, let's see. Now, Ursula. Old. Oh, speaking of old, I should jump back to our character. I'm going to write this down. Uh, all you're on now. It's getting old. About, and he realizes it's getting old. And he dresses up like an old man. Scare Petra. So, dresses. Oh. And so, um, anyway, tell you not, Ursula is bedridden. Bedridden. That's what cool kids call it. I'm not joking. I'm not cool whatsoever. He's not. Want me to give you that attention? Because you know what? I'm tired of your crap every single day. Alright, go ahead. One, where you go? Oh. My bad. Goodness. You know. Anyway, I'm um, sorry about little inconvenience. Alcoholism, you know, it's a disease. Um, anyway, so yeah, she got all better and she's senile. That's you know, what? Yeah, oh no, I'm not senile. I'm just crazy. Okay, and senile is kind of crazy. Well, it's like listening to DP3, you thinking he's Eminem the next day. You listen to DP3 again, and thinking he's like freaking Pitbull. That's a DP3, and like, oh, that's Tupac, I know that guy. Oh, wait, it's Hollywood Undead. Man, no one cares about that crap. You know, I got a tram stamp of it. But um, anyway, so, yeah. So, see now. What the hell is that? Anyway, so let's see. So, um, basically, Ursula, she's the oldest person, and she's also the big, like, mother mother type of the family so she's also a mother or something else but <clears throat> you know mother of the family 
mother slash So pretty much she's in the old and she's kind of about to pass, but she still tries to act young. So like she still wants to be able to dance, boogie, jam, twerk, tweak, whatever y'all kids call it, but you know. Facebooking. How is Facebooking a freaking dance? Like there's twerking, there's that tweaking crap, disco, whatever you want to call it, seriously. You're the web teacher. I can nay nay. That one has a chick. <laughs> That one? No, no. Anyway, and so that's about it right now. So here's a chapter summary, and it's by Mr. Tweakin. I'm just joking. It's Mr. Teen, because you know, I don't know how to act. Peace. By the way, do not check my cabinets. <sighs>